Listen to Dead Heads, baby. I've never felt so alive in my life. My name's Corey Black, and when you see me, I'm At this studio, looking at a guy out here, yeah. hollering my name. It's Go ahead, me. baby, let's go. Yeah. Oh, right you want to stop me? I spent more money on oh, spilling. You're going to have to fucking kill me. Do not say anything to anyone at any time or you will be executed. This is Duh Heads, the show before the show. Rain is trying to set up the camera, but it's not going well because we got the new one. But don't worry, folks. It's uh, it's 2024. I got it! You got it? Okay, he got the camera. It's rolling. It's <laughs> rolling, baby. I wanted to get started. I was excited because uh, my GF just sent me this funny message. I want to play it for you, Rain. Are you ready? Oh, fuck yeah, dude. So my girlfriend is eating edibles... Hell yeah! <laughs> One time in her entire oh. life. And she freaked out. Okay, so listen, listen. Isaac, I wish I was making this up. This lady is literally snorting. I think this is crack. I, I see a rock in a little small black bag. <laughs> and she has a $20 bill. She's now rolling up her sleeves to do this shit. What is going on? Is she breaking it? I'm, I'm so confused. I don't know drugs, but this lady is doing drugs. <laughs> Right in front of me as I'm waiting for my daughter to get out of the salon. Okay, disregard that. It's just weed. What? <laughs> <laughs> so, okay. Did so, she see someone so, snorting weed? So she took the dog. She took the dog to get a tr uh, its haircut because it's like a, it's a fucking a shepherd doodle. And so its hair is like super long and yeah. I like, can't see and shit. So... I guess this lady, she's like, she's fucking doing crack. And then she's like, she texted me and she's like, no, it's just weed. And I was like, wait, she was snorting weed. And she's like, no, she broke it down and put it into a into some white paper. It's I'm pretty sure that it's weed. So I guess the lady was just smoking weed. But I just <laughs> I was excited to show you that because <laughs> I texted. Her, I was like, this is why I'm so glad that just makes me think of all the together. times I look sketchy while I'm like loading a dab into my dab pen. That, what does that even look like? Yeah, that probably looks nuts to her. <laughs> that probably looks like crap. To someone who doesn't do drugs, yeah. They're like, what are you putting Dude, I remember like the one of the <laughs> one of the first things when I went to her house, like I think I bought her a candle or something and she had uh never used a lighter before. She didn't wait, know how to wait, use a lighter, wait, wait, dude. Wait, wait, what? A like a big lighter. Like a big lighter. She, dude, and on, think man. about this. I bought her one and I had to return it because she couldn't figure it out because she's like so innocent. So I bought her one of those button lighters press, that you like yeah. press it. What the hell? Because, dude, she's been. She loves Jesus, dude. Me? I like so Jesus she, too, but I knew about yeah, lighters when I was like yeah. nine. No, she never did. <laughs> It's just so funny. It's funny as fuck. I don't know. The whole time she's in like a gas station like, what are these things? Yeah, what the hell is going on? I didn't even use these Which things. Which is so funny because like fucking where she's from is like just the like. Everybody dude, uses lighters. It's a rap scallion fucking world up there, dude. Yeah, it, it gets it's, it gets a little dirty and it gets it, a little tough. It. I, I was like comparing uh, Bakersfield to fucking, I was like thinking like what it's like and I was like. Bakersfield is like Victorville and Palmdale if everybody because like okay in Palmdale and Victorville people are like disrespectful right like people give you the attention to be mean to you for the most part yeah in Bakersfield it's like if people just ignored your existence but they still disrespected you by being dismissive that's like what Bakersfield's like that sounds like Palmdale Lancaster pretty much yeah well Victorville people are like I acknowledge you and I don't like you you know what I mean like, thank Where, you. Whereas Bakersfield is more just like, oh, you exist? I hate you. I didn't know you existed, but I don't like you. <laughs> it's yeah, like a, the good thing about uh, Palmdale and Lancaster is a lot of murders going on lately. So that's really, good. yeah, really, dude. It's like the the meme is coming true. Of like, I cry out for magic. <laughs> Hell yeah, like Newsom's ruining California. But okay. it's like cool. literally everybody's there's so everybody's many, getting killed. There's so many deaths, dude. dude. That's fucked up. It's wild, man. Dude, we should do the uh, we should do the uh, ultimate podcast thing. Be like, dude, if you were a serial killer, how many people do you think you could kill? If you were to be a <laughs> yeah, yeah, <it's> not. <laughs> uh, I think we've talked about it on the, in the on the pod before. Either you or Joe would probably be the most successful serial killer. It would it would be Joe. Yeah, it'd be probably Joe. He's got like a deep, deep killer instinct. He does. Yeah. If you no, don't know, no. go watch uh, our show a long time ago with JoJo Smoke. Yeah, J episode twenty five. Jesus. Yeah. Your brain. Yeah. How do you do that? I have autism. Yeah, but then like you turn it around on me and like I actually it might be twenty it's twenty one or twenty no, twenty one is my show. 
my show. <laughs> uh, 25 is, is our show. This is my show. This is my You're show. On my You're show. on my show. Uh, it, I, it might not be. I don't know. There's probably a duh story and historian out there somewhere. So so it's funny. The, the golden age of the show is going to be like episodes 69 on. Yeah. It's probably like when they're going to say this was the golden age. We're in the fucking golden age. We're right in the now. golden age. We're, we're agree, in Tartaria. We're in, we're in Jesus has returned to Tartaria right now. The N word. <laughs> That's why. Right. Yeah, we made it past the Old like, Testament. Now we're on the the is it the New Testament? We're in the New Testament. Oh, well, yeah, baby. But no, there's like a there's a lot of theories that people th- say that Jesus did come back, and it was basically Tartaria is when he came back, and that he like and like the world was perfect hmm. during the Tartaria times. Then uh, I don't know. It was going great, and who fucked up? Dude, the Rothschilds. Dude, dude, I I was thinking of. Uh, there's this like whole sect of people who think that uh, they're black Israelites and they think that the dark ages were called the dark ages because all of the nobility were black. <laughs> How much does that rock, dude? That's like kind of like self-proclaimed that racism rock, right there. That dude. rules. <laughs> I'm black. That's why they called it the dark ages. The dark I'm ages. Dark. It's like, okay. I, I yeah. have a, we have a homie whose theory is that they call black people black people because uh, they're dead. You know what I mean? Like, what? like no, on paper, the U.S. government wants to say that they're black because black means dead in, like, legal terms. If something is black, it's dead or something. So, okay. So he's like, yeah, it means that they're dead because the Moors were the ones who really ran the world. You know what I'm saying, man? Hey, man. The Moors- I wish Jay was a black Israelite. That would have been such a cool arc. God damn it. What a fucking cool I wonder podcast if, we I, would have. I wonder if Jay ever will hit black Israelite. Cause he's Jay's like pretty like he's pretty he's Jay's really smart he's pretty normal he's maybe like that's a, how he gets sober maybe he becomes a black Israelite maybe, maybe. He, yeah maybe that would be cool I jump on that wagon if you had a black Israelite I'll go yell at fucking people well dude I was talking to my GF who's she's obviously African American she's black and uh her uh um her brother uh, <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> no, I was talking to her. Um, I was like, "Hey, baby, yo, brother, man." I was like, "No," <laughs> I was like, um, "Can I?" I was like, "When can I talk to your brother about black Israelites?" And she's like, "You guys, you guys, stop! <laughs> Don't <laughs> she, do that." Not immediately. I was like, "All right, I'm gonna coax him in." Do the black Israelites? They don't. They hate white people, right? Pretty much, like. I think like it's like an unspoken thing of like yeah we don't like them. I like there's be some, friends with them. There's some that are outwardly like you the white devil, and then there's others who like they don't say it. It'd be like not me. But like the basically a lot of the black Israelites believe that the tribe of Judah, which is the tribe Jesus is descended from, is they're black. <laughs> <laughs> basically jesus was black it's like the it's literally like the fucking stereotypical like did you know xenu was a black man did you know what well, like like, <laughs> like they, the original jews yeah they believe that like all like everybody was black uh my favorite I'm, I'm going down this rabbit hole lately is that uh the american southwest is the actual middle east that was discussed in the bible <laughs> yeah i love it dude i love it so much that's what I i'm into now across that what? so okay so you know how in utah Everything is named, the Mormons named everything after the Middle East. So there's like Bethlehem and there's like, yeah, it's like, you know, all Jerusalem and shit, Jerusalem, all that stuff. Well, the theory is that when they, when we moved over here, <laughs> we was displaced by Noah and the floods. <laughs> and when the floods came a coming and the rain came a down, <laughs> When the rain was uh, coming down, no. So the theory is that uh, continents got displaced during during the rains of Noah, and that the United States Southwest is the real original biblical Middle East, what and that they've lied to you. <laughs> yeah, there was that guy that was on tinfoil hat, and he was talking about how Florida's the true Garden of Eden Dude, and all that, that stuff. That, that's that, what that is. That's, that's black. When I, that's when I like close the book. That's black Israelite stuff. <laughs> okay. That's all black Israelite stuff. The I love Garden it. I think it's sick. In Florida. Yeah. It's like no, it's not. Have you been yeah. to Florida? It's, it's no. That's where it you is. don't want to be. What are you talking about, brother? Man, we just having a conversation over here. Come on, sit over there with me, my brother. <laughs> Dude. Um. Yeah. I don't know. I love that shit. I think I it's fun. I fucking hate Florida. Really? Have I, you been? Yeah, I went there when I was. I thought you were going to say no. I was going to fucking make no, fun of you. No, but I hate it. I was going to be like, you fucking, you fucking bitch. You I fucking went there when I was bitch. 16, dude, and I tried to, it was so goddamn hot. It was August. Yeah. So. 
summer i tried to cool off in the pool and the pool felt like a fucking bathtub okay, dude. that's yeah, when yeah. i was like i hate it yeah I hate it well, especially you were you're a bigger boy you're oh, 16 a, you're no a, i was actually fit oh you're that's when you're fit yeah okay. that's when i was deep in football okay yeah that's a. Uh, I remember dude i remember that was the worst part of being fucking fat it was like summer fucking sucks dude when you're hot uh, when you're hot fat and drunk dude that shit dude, sucks dude you want to know the worst part of being fat being invited to theme park you know okay why? You gotta take your shirt off. No, it's no. That's a that's a water park. That's next level scary. That's for your nice. fat kid. That's, okay, you okay. don't even propose that idea. Go off, dude. Let me hear what it. happens when you're a fucking fat kid and you go to a theme park <laughs> is you walk all day, and because you've walked before, you're like, that's fine. When you walk all day, when you're a fat kid, you you discover what chafing is. <laughs> oh fucking hell yeah, dude! When I went to Disneyland when I was like 12 uh-huh. with like my family, we were walking for like you know eight hours like, yeah, all yeah, day. Yeah. My thighs were rubbing together so much. They were like just red sores yeah. and they're just rubbing together. And to the point where I'm like waddling to the car, <laughs> dude, being fat sucks so much. That rocks. Until you discover fucking compression shorts. Oh yeah. Compression shorts was rock, compression yeah. shorts. You know, you know what was weird is like when football players started wearing compression shorts as normal underwear, it was like a weird time in high school because it's like it's actually really bad for like young males testicular growth and stuff. Smell is bad too. <laughs> it like it like fucks your like genitals up. Anyways, you know what's funny? Speaking of you being twelve, I'm gonna ask you a question. All right. And I want you to answer this truthfully. When you were twelve, I want you to name the top five bands that you and your brother listened to, because there a lot of them were the same. Slipknot and Mushroom Head. Okay. Um, 2002. Um, just name one more. Rancid, but my brother didn't listen to them. Okay, so your brother. Dis- disturbed, right? Like Disturbed or like, like them. or like uh, or like System of a Down? System of a Down, I guess. Okay, maybe. I want you to listen to this. I want you to listen to this. This is We're bringing our friends on the show today. Because like System of a Down, they kind of blew up in like 2004 when yeah, Iraq just, War just, was like... You know crazy. what I mean? Just an example. Just... So, so you would say that those bands are from the 2000s, or the early, early 2000s, late 90s. Yeah, late 90s metal period. period. Okay, so you would, would you say, I want you to listen to this and tell me what you think. Okay. Hey, dude, hope you're doing good. I wanted to send you a quick message because uh, <laughs> I liked a photo that Mac posted on Instagram, <clears throat> and it was of him getting some award for being a teacher. <laughs> Maybe it's that award for being the best teacher in China. Um, but I liked it. And then just now, he started blowing up my Instagram again. Like, it's been a couple of months, dude. <laughs> and he's going on about, he's like, you might find these things insightful, so let me okay. tell you about it. And he's talking about people on YouTube being copycats of other people. <laughs> not this. It's not this. It's especially not this. music. And he goes on a rant about, um, people making cover songs and why that's bad. Okay, not. so it's not that one; it's this one. And then there's this one. There's a part in his rant where oh. he's talking about. Uh, he's like, you know, I'm 36 years old. I've never consi- but I've never considered myself a 90s kid. Um, and mainly because uh, when I grew up, I listened to uh, specifically 60s and 70s music. So he's he's not a 90s kid. He's a, a 1970s kid. <laughs> what? <laughs> So your brother, what? your brother, t- listen, listen, I'm driving, I'm driving to here to record today and oh I'm my God. listen. Okay. But I want you, I want you to, to listen to that. I'm trying. Okay. So, so my response, this was my response. Okay. Oh my this was my response. My life is, I said, I said, that's funny. And I said, cause I, he did not listen to specifically sixties and seventies music when he was a kid. Listen, listen to my response. Listen to my response. Uh, the utter delusion that Michael has is so crazy. He did not listen to exclusively 60s and 70s music. In fact, he listened to music directly of the era. He was a massive Slipknot, Disturbed, Mushroomhead fan. He's a fucking... Did I not just name? Did I not just yeah, name yeah. all three of the bands you just said? Yeah. You are such a fucking fibber, dude. Why would you do that? So, so I, wait, I think I know where it comes from, though. Hang on. So, I think it is so funny that, like, because I was like, he's gonna have, he has to say mushroom head and slipknot at least. Yeah. And those are the first two you name, and I'm like, he's a he's delusional. He listened to you did not exclusively listen to sixties and seventies music. And a big thing is because he he would copy me on what I would find <laughs> or listen to, it. even at twelve, <laughs> fucking fifteen year olds copy me. But here's the thing. Here's where that comes from. 
It's so funny. Do you remember those commercials on TV that were like, oh, here's the, the duets of the 80s here and yeah, now. Yeah, yeah, and yeah, yeah, yeah. Every rose has its thought. Yeah, hell yeah. Well, one of them was a funk CD. It's like, okay. here's the, the funk from the 70s. Yo, and it was it, a, come on, everybody brother, wait, was here, kung here. fu fighting. Hey, brother, come on down. Get your funk yourself and get a... Literally that. Literally that. Got you. Kung fu fighting. Okay. He... He bought that or he got my mom to buy it. <laughs> that was his only, his only funk album he've ever had. Okay. Okay. And he's saying that he's just listened to that. Yeah. So he time. sent it. So, so if you don't know who that was, that was, that was uh, my brother, my that, older no, brother. No, that was Stone Fox oh, from, yeah. from, uh, from um adc baby. adc american death camp and so he we we sent each other voice messages and i just thought it was so funny because i was like what the fuck because i just thought it was so funny it was like he didn't listen to that i know what you got yeah, you're a lot you were I hanging was, out i was there i was there dude and i was just like no they listen to mushroom head i just think that i don't know how he got talking about that i just think it's funny it's, i think we're just bringing guests on the show i brought my girlfriend we brought stone fox on the show it's funny that like but people, it's, some people will be embarrassed about the bands they listen to at like thirteen, like twelve to fifteen. Yeah, you're twelve. It's like, dude, you're fucking. You're twelve. A dumb kid. Yeah. Just say that you liked Blink One Eighty Two. Yeah. It's like I, I don't get it, dude. My brother is a <laughs> fucking maniac, dude. <laughs> it never makes sense. It never makes sense. I'm just always fucking flabbergasted. <laughs> I just. Uh, but now we have to have Mac on the show to to refute the claims. To see what he's, what truth he he lived. No, all we got to do is interview him. We have to. He has, he has to come on the show. Like, oh, what did you listen to in the nineties? All I listened to was seventies funk. And that, that's it. That's all. Like, okay. <laughs> and then he, he'll talk about how he like dabbled <laughs> with guitar for a little bit. It's like, no, no, no. no I remember no, no, no. that. I remember he had he had a blue Stratocaster. I remember that. Yeah, but here's how he dabbled. I wanted a guitar. Yeah. For Christmas. Right. Then Michael wanted a guitar for Christmas. This is like my life. So I'm like, okay, well, I'm going to, I'm going to do bass. I'm going to do bass thing. Cause you're gay, Michael. I got a bass strat pack. He got a guitar strat pack. Okay. Guitar, bass. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I mean, a guitar I remember this. amp. Was your bass black? Yeah. I remember. I, re I remember. I remember this. Played that bass for nine years. Mm -hmm. This is another separate fucking crazy story. <laughs> Michael played for like, he took lessons with me. He like took six months, for like right? six months. And Dude, I remember all of this. I was like, I remember all of this so clear as day. He's never wanted to get back into guitar till 36. Right. This is like 20 years of... But of because of funkadelic. him playing it for six months when he was young, uh -huh. he's a guitar player now. Yeah. Which is... Which we just ranted about on the, t yeah. on the Patreon. If you but then <laughs> he also talks about how he can play bass. I'm like, he's literally never played a bass guitar. <laughs> like, I don't know... You know what's weird? You know what's weird? Michael, Michael, uh, he he messaged me and he was he was talking about or Max, sorry, he was talking about music or whatever. And I actually had a dream about him showing me his music. I remember I had a <laughs> dream the other night about him showing me his music. And I remember in the dream I look at you and I was like, it's not that bad. It's probably not that bad, but it's not good at the same time. Yeah. So you I can don't know. make I like, just I just think it's funny. Like it, it would be like if like Joe if like Joe messaged he literally started if making Joe, music. Right? Wait, hang on, hang on. It would be like if Joe messaged one of your friends that he exclusively like only played Minecraft when he was a kid and I was and I and you asked me through your friend. Like that think about how crazy that connection is and then fuck my life, dude. <laughs> Things I've dealt with, just <laughs> trying to like I move. I'm not like, trying. I just, I don't know, dude. I just think the world is a vampire. It is, dude. The Smashing Pumpkins had it right. I don't know what to do anymore. Like, like fucking, my whole family, my whole family confuses me, dude. <laughs> I don't know if it's the holidays or not, but I'm like, what is, is it the everybody holiday? doing? What else happened? What else has gone on? Literally, not much, but I'm like, what the <laughs> fuck is going on? Like what? Why can't people talk about sh normal shit? What just, else has happened? Like what else happened? Nothing really happened. It's just like people devolve into like political talk and just shit like that so quickly. Wait, who did? Who did? Who has? No, kind of like literally everybody. Like yeah, okay. Like uh, my cousins that came over, my little like they it all. Were they devolved. talking? Pol they were like, talking politics. It slowly devolves into that. Okay, wait, like, wait, wait, it's crazy. We live in, and they're like, actually, it's because of this. Let's and then replay, it, let's 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 get into it. So what happened? What happened? 
I don't think re- nothing really nothing really happened. I like know that. nothing happened, but like, what did they say was the cause of the craziness in I'm the world? I'm pretty sure that our cousin Tyler thinks I'm like super far right. Oh, that's awesome. Which kind of rules? He's like, what? Well, he's super far left. Well, to him, you are. Yeah, you which, understand that. To him, you're super far right, which makes me a literal neo Nazi, <laughs> which is insane. I bet you Tyler I gotta start dealing with it. I bet you Tyler thinks I'm an actual Nazi, or he thinks you're just grifting to that for sure. But like I Tyler don't, would for sure. Does he listen to our show? It seems like he has. Okay, cool. But I don't think he does. Yeah, he definitely doesn't. Sense. He definitely doesn't. I think I think liberals are faggots. So, but yeah, I'm like bringing <laughs> stuff up, and he'd have just like a blank face, like yeah. I'm like yeah, you know how like. I'll deal with things at work and the Chinese people with the Porsche companies and they, they'll break their names down into something like this. Like, yeah, yeah. Like you're making a joke. Yeah. And he's just like, that's racist. Seriously? I'm like, oh shit, dude. My oh, cousin yeah. hates me. Yeah. He's, yeah, he's, uh, I'll he's, bring up China and forget he's Chinese. I'm like, oh shit, dude. Well, which is fine. People yeah. bring up, uh, I don't know, Germany. We're German. It's not like a fucking No, problem. I was bringing up like Filipinos too of like how they love. I think we were talking about Ube. You're, you're just like being so racist. So, how do you look at someone and forget they're Chinese, dude? No, what we were talking. These are family. I just look at them as a fucking. No, well, well, that, well, it also is a testament to you not characterizing a person by their fucking immediate race. Yeah, so. I'll talk to a black person about if the any, Moors. If anything, it's actually not racist that you forget that he's Chinese. Well, and the thing is, he was talking right? about like some of his Asian friends he's traveled with. And I'm like, oh, right. I, I've had like Filipino friends that have traveled. I'm like, he started talking about like Ube. You know what Ube is? No, They're like, no. they have a purple like beet or like a okay. sweet potato that they make into like a a sweet treat. It's like a purple goo okay. that they put in a bunch of their. Yeah, like, I desserts. got you. I get it. It's <laughs> delicious. I get it. I get. It. So I think that's how like Filipinos <laughs> popped up, and then I started talking about how like they're all nurses and stuff. Probably something definitely racist. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, and it just evolves. You know, you get you get you're the bad guy, even though if you say. Oh, something. so th- was it like a problem? No, no. Tyler loves me. I think. No. Okay. No, nothing was a problem. So he, so Tyler probably is like January six was not a Fed operation. Yeah, but then when get, he agrees with he, you, he's like... Mm. He's just agreeing with you to like get the conversation over with. Yeah. So Tyler, if I was like, you know, 85% of the people involved in January 6th were like federal agents and it's provable and it's all been proven, he'd be like, yeah, dude, okay. Like, yeah, let's stop talking about this. Yeah, That's okay. That, okay, so yeah, he's fully, he's fully, uh, he's a part of the machine. Sketches me out, dude. He's always talking about how yeah, like, I don't, there's I don't, free money. There's free money out there to get. He, like, literally. Like, oh, he's one of those guys. Like, there's just free money out there you can get. And he's always traveling with, like, rich-ass, like, crypto babies. And, like, yeah, and, like, taking out PPE loans during COVID and stuff like that. Yeah, dude. Like, kinda, like, like so, so kind of, there is free money. You just have to steal it from the government. Or you have to be friends Which, with super isn't that, rich people. Isn't that something that, like, may or may not have happened allegedly? Allegedly. It yeah. De- it so, definitely happened so, allegedly. So, you're racist... And he's a thief. <laughs> okay, cool. I'm glad I see how this, able to I see how this works. Boil this down. So, into, so, no, I'm a so really, really nobody's perfect. I'm a Nazi. You're racist, and he's a he's a he's a a fraud, white collar criminal. It is funny how I can go in front of my family and be like free market, and they're like, "That's that's really racist of you." Yeah, that's funny. Like, okay, I don't know anymore. Yeah, I don't know. And then uh, I just dig my heels into like being the character. So I'm like, yeah, which. Ah! Is- which I is basically what this show is. Yeah, that's so funny. Uh, yeah, this is this is why I just I'm uh, I'm Elijah in the cave. I just isolate, and then everyone everyone thinks that this is what I actually am all yeah. the time. That's I the funniest part. That's what sucks about holidays is like you finally you have to face what people think about you. <laughs> like this is serious? no, you you have to face what these people have created in their head about you. That's completely wrong. And then you can't stand up for yourself because if you do, you're also you're a bigger if, Nazi. If you do, you're an, you're a narcissist, and uh, y- you know what I mean. Like they gaslight you, they use their own mental illness to gaslight you into whatever they actually are. That's fucking. That's weird. that's like my experience with my dad's side of the family. He's like, it's like you're gaslighting me, and it's like I haven't spoken to you in five years. Or they're just like <laughs> you didn't have to grow up like me. It's like I didn't even bring. Yeah, that's fucking I didn't awesome. even bring me growing up into this conference. Yeah. I've suffered. Yeah. You know how much boomers <laughs> suffer in this world? We bought this house for 30 grand, now it's worth three. Uh, <laughs> fucking boomer, dude. Yeah, we just had a huge boomer rant on the Patreon. It's just it's one of those things that's stuck in my head because boomers, my mom is a legit boomer. Yeah, she loves yeah. I see like this is like the nuance that people don't understand. Like people don't understand that like 
I think the Nazis won World War Three. Or I'm sorry. I th- well, they did. Um, that actually, that sentence. Right, is World not, War Three. That, that sentence is not incorrect. World War Two. No, World, World War, War Three is coming. No, I'm just just forget. Okay, it, sorry, just forget it. Sorry. Um, I operate on a higher dimensional plane than the rest of the world. <laughs> I think so. See, this is the funny thing. Like, I can say things like that, completely joking. But if I just say it slightly serious and look at you, everyone's like, "He's totally serious." <laughs> and I'm like, <laughs> "Might be totally yeah, serious." I, have, <laughs> I, I genuinely, I don't know, dude. I just, I like can't even do family anymore because it's like I was like like I don't even know it it's all fucking gay <laughs> no <laughs> I don't been, care I'm like there with like any I think this is why would I like when I have to go up to like Thanksgiving this year we switch off with me and my wife like with yeah. family we visit on Thanksgiving so I had to go up to my <laughs> my wife's place for Thanksgiving and here we go what do I do here we go here we go here we go my solution is just alright we gotta go buy a bunch of edibles and a bunch of yeah. like vapes cause if you smell like weed like 80 year olds think you're the actual devil yeah that's cool so I just I just vape in their room they in their house hold, yeah it's yeah, fine and they, they have no them. idea they just think it's yeah. essential oils yeah okay. Cool. But that's how you deal with it. Yeah. The fact that you're sober, I do not know what, like, what do you, do? I, 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 I like somebody. literally, I do, I'd never yeah. go. I, I don't, I wouldn't do any, I would, fuck, dude. I, I'm like not even exaggerating. Whenever I have a social interaction, like if it's like I have to do a day that you don't want to do, even like, like even recording the show, and this is not a, you don't want to, th- no, this is not like <laughs> me talking shit about you. I have to literally, mentally put myself in like a meditative state where I have to remind myself of the idiosyncrasies that like person X, Y, and Z has. These are the things that bother them. Do not touch on those subjects. Yeah. Like literally like, like when I come over here with you, it, it, like, and we do the show, it's like, if I say these things, it will make rain argue. So don't say these things. Don't be argumentative. If he says something that you think is dumb, don't be an asshole. Just tell like, me he's dumb. <laughs> no, no. Do you know what I'm saying? Though? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. like it, and when it comes to like, like going to a family function, it's like, okay, my brother's going to be there. My sister's going to be there. This is, they think these certain things. My dad is here. Don't, these are the things, uh, this person does and doesn't know. Don't even talk Here's about some these things. Topics for sure. Don't like, Everything is like a fucking rhythmic dance, and and yeah. I have decided to not play into the music, and I just sit there, and I just absorb information, and I give the like. If someone was like, "What do you? What's on your mind?" I just go, "Not much." Like the world ending, or I'll go like this. If someone like, okay, my dad will ask me like, "What do you think of grandma?" What do you think of Nana? And I go, do you really want to know? Or do you want to kind of know? Do you really want me to give you an opinion? Like, there will be... I have, like, basically, like... You have levels five, of truth. Uh, there's five levels of truth to every single thing I do. And everybody gets, like, 0.5 with me. They're like, oh, what did you what did you think about the moon rocket today, son? And I'm like... Cool, on. And I'm like, Elon Musk is cool. That's like level 0.5. Inside, you're like, they're turning the frogs gay. Or like, <laughs> really, I'm like, the, the, the space doesn't exist. It's an electric universe. The firmament is the Van Allen belt. Oil is... Rege- <laughs> Dude, I went down a hole. <laughs> Oil is the Earth's blood and it's regenerative. Like, so, yeah, that's that's where I'm at. I've been going around Flat Earth for a good three weeks. Flat Earth rocks, it's real. All right. Do you remember when Red Bull had the dude... Yes. Um, yes. Yeah, skydive from yep. space. What's going on? What do you mean? Because you can watch his whole descent. Yeah. Why is like a, like you can see a globe slowly turn into a flat plane. It's cameras. <clears throat> That's what they would say. That's okay. what flat earther would say. Cause I, I like, that was like my, the one thing I thought of, I'm like, oh yeah, I remember when they would say that they would say that the cameras are fish islands or are, something. are distorting the curvature of the earth. Yeah. How do you make a hole? Or they would, or it's either that, or they would say that like the ozone, the way that the fucking ozone layer operates on, I don't really know, but that's what they, they would say one of those couple things like, oh, the atmosphere, the way the atmosphere is, is it like makes it look round. Cause like, it sounds stupid, or, but then you what, realize what, Red Bull is a billion no, dollar. No, but company. what they would say is that that's why Red Bull did it. Yeah. That's that, why that no would, one else has done it. That's why Red Bull did it. 
So now I'm on the kick of trying but it to is find weird. It is weird that we haven't been to space in like since 69. Since 1969. That's weird. That's super weird. But we've had missions, right? We've had like Apollo missions. Have we? The Challenger. <laughs> it exploded. That exploded everybody. Yeah. Haven't we had like more of those since 69? No. What? We've like, we've, we've sent people into orbit, which like, which Bezos was able to do in a big plane. Yeah. They just go up and come down. Yeah. Like that is some, that's a fucking scam. At which best. is, which is like, it's just like the more and more shit that comes out, you know, I don't know, but like some, like dealing with like our cousin, like Tyler, like I would like, cause I can talk about politics. Like I'm smart enough and yeah, I know enough about things to like discuss them. But like uh, now I just like. I'll even just now, like, uh, like three years ago, I would be like, oh, I'd entertain it. But now I would just be like, I don't know, dude, I'm, I'm like exiled from politics. I don't know. I do do that a lot when like people bring know. things up to me. I'm like, I don't know when I see like a problem coming down the road. But like every now and again, I start veering off the road and start yeah. going off on something. Well, people are all you can also tell people's intentions with what they want to discuss with you be based off of like you can like if you are tuned in to like your sort of six cents quote unquote whether it's like a a social like m gauge or measure or meter that you have like you can tell why they're sort of gauging you on questions especially you know like if tyler is asking and i'm just using tyler an example yeah. but if, if he's asking you political questions it's probably to gauge where you're at so he can sort of put you in some sort of hierarchy in his head yeah, like, to like oh he's a this person he's he votes this. on this he's, way he's trying to way. categorize you and, and the thing is is like i don't like, I have fully, I am fully exiled from every single thing that, like, is worldly, whether it's, like, a political party, voting, um, you know, like, I use the tools of the world to exist in the world, but I'm not, like, I'm voting for Donald Trump. Like, that doesn't exist to me anymore. Like, I, I would just completely shut those conversations down and be like, yeah, I'm not interested in that. That's a, that's a thought game. I'm not interested in talking about that. It just weirds me out when I'm like, hey, haven't you noticed that it's a two, like, just the classic, oh, it's a two-party system two, and you only uh, have two, two choices, blah, yeah, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. And they're all just like, what are you talking about? Yeah. No, like, the <laughs> think about this, dude. Think about this. My my IQ, right, is is 135. I don't know. What is that? No, good? just listen. Just listen. I don't. I what's the IQ that's, scale? That's pretty high. It's like two hundred the highest. Just listen. Okay. One thirty-five is pretty high. Tanner is a one forty-five. Okay. Two percent. Listen. No, just listen. Yeah. Two percent of the world has a higher IQ than me. Fuck. That's a lot of people. No, it is not. Two percent. That's seven, of the world. Of seven billion is okay, just. That's a lot. Okay. Please just shut the fuck up and stop ruining what I'm trying to say. I'm not ruining. What I'm saying is. I am an idiot, and I am smarter than 98% of the planet. That is what I'm I am getting at. Okay. Tanner is smarter than me, okay? And Tanner is not very smart, and he <laughs> is smarter than 99% of the planet. Yeah, you're that, saying. My point Most is, people are dumb. My point is, is that we are m more... Into, you're probably in, like, the 115 range. Fuck you're you. <laughs> No, that's high. That's super high. That's super high, Rain. <laughs> this is funny. No, that's super high. I'm I just, know. It's just funny. I'm like, just, I'm immediately lower than everybody. I'm not saying... I'm not... I, no. you're, I'm not saying... I'm saying <laughs> just based off of what I, what I am thinking. <laughs> yeah. But you're way higher than every... Like, you think yeah. you're an idiot. I think I'm an idiot. Or Scum thinks he's an idiot. Right. Yeah. We're idiots. And we're way smarter than most people. The the yeah the whole point is knowing you're an idiot, knowing there's someone exactly. smarter than you. Exactly. Yes. Exactly. And like most people are like, but like what I'm saying is, is like we're dumb, right? Me and you are dumb, and we and we know that like that some, there's shit that like we going we on. don't know, right? Like we can think that like oh there's a two party system that acts as a uniparty, and they're just like the good guys and the bad guys to each other we know it's all bullshit yeah, it pretty much ends there but there are people who are like no the democratic party is the good party and I'm smarter than you yeah there's and because no I way think their, IQ, their and be, IQ could be higher than mine right yes and that's what, I, that's that's what I'm trying that is my whole point okay. of what I'm saying that's fucked is like IQ is like I can figure out puzzles I can do word games. So what's an, what's on an IQ test? It's literally like logic puzzles. The reason my IQ is probably higher than yours is just because I went to college be, on, and only because it's like games. It's like like college teaches you how to do like little games. Yeah, like so little, they teach you systems. Yes. And like just because my IQ is higher doesn't mean I'm smarter than you. I just want to you take an IQ saying? test now. So the whole point 
I'm trying to make is like there are people who are like 170 IQ who are like, no, like evolution is 100 percent real. Liberal parties rule. The liberal parties is so like that's what I'm that's my, okay. the point I'm trying to there's make. There's a lot of smart, dumb people. Yes. And there's a lot of and there's a lot of yes, there's a lot of smart people who don't realize they're dumb. And there are some people who are dumb, dumb. And like they have an 85 IQ, but they they have like critical thinking like skills. They're street smarts, where they can like people will call. Yeah, or they can be like, oh, that's like someone with an 80 IQ can be like, that's weird. We've never been to the pl- to the to the moon again. That's yeah. like a smart observation that is requires like some sort of critical analysis. Or like you can be you can have Down syndrome and have like a 70 IQ and have the mental capacity of a, of a toddler, but but be like. Be like, oh yeah, uh, the Democrats and Republicans are both bad. But someone like, I don't know, our our cousin might be like, no, dude, I have a 120 IQ, and I think that the Democrats yeah. are geniuses. Well, actually, you I'm, know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's. I want to do an IQ test now. I, I yeah, literally you do have never. Where can you get like a good? Still on. You can do them like online. I, I know, but like, it doesn't have to be like a bullshit one that kind of gives you like a fucking higher. Score they take than, like a while to do. Really? Uh huh. I don't want to do that. They take like an hour. No, it's not that bad. Yeah, but it's like a you need like a pen and paper, and it's it, it's a lot of like uh, this is a, a square and a triangle and a circle. Uh, if these were all the same shape, which one would be the longest? Like sh- weird. Oh. It's just like like stuff like that where it's like oh, I wonder what my IQ is. I'm really curious now, just because probably it's probably, probably, those above, that people it's probably bring above up. average. Because I, I didn't get... Or it's, like, fucking horrible. Or it's just <laughs> force No, because... No, you can... When someone's IQ is, like, really, really low, you can... Like you speech can like, impediments. Yeah. Like, if it's, like... If you're, like, 80... Because, like, the whole the whole argument is, like, if you're, like... You're probably in the 120s. If you're, like, 120 or above, you can acknowledge that you're not the smartest person in the, in the world. I've always thought I'm the dumbest So, like, person. people... So, people who can acknowledge that they're not intelligent are usually more intelligent than they think. And then people who think that they're really smart are usually in like the one tens. They're usually like one hundred to like one one ten. They're usually that's why like there's like a there's a um there's like a always threads on 4chan of like yeah the guy's a one fifteen or and huh. people who are like one fifteen are like I am a genius. Who invented the IQ test? I don't know some fucking probably some German guy. It definitely was definitely a German, a German guy. guy. Fucking Operation Paperclip yeah, for yeah, sure, dude. Yeah. Because that that it's like here we made this test that here's a number that just determines everything and it's still sticking around. Yeah. Really curious. Well, the thing is too, is like, um, there's people who like, can't even like, this is like why I have a hard time even discussing anything with anybody is because like, there are people who are like operation paperclip is not real. That's not real. You can literally prove it. Like doesn't really, matter. Really That's not real. <laughs> <laughs> they, like there's people That's like this. Insane. There's I, people like this with high IQs. Yes. That are like really smart. Like, know the that whole, like six million there. Like there are people who could do open heart surgery on you. And be like, I don't think anything about the six million is weird. So, yeah. Like that all adds up to me. That's what I was told. But then there's also this weird, like there's like this weird genre of people who like are scared. They they have this like subconscious fear of asking questions that might like get them in quote unquote trouble. Okay. So like, like with their like group? my dad is kind of like this. We're like me and him will be talking about something and I'll say something like, Oh, Manson was like, it's proven Manson was an MK ultra victim and MK ultra exists. Yeah. And he'll be like, Whoa, 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 Whoa. Like stop talking about that. Weird. Like, cause he knows, like he knows it's real, but he's like, Oh, the phones are listening, which they are, <laughs> which is weird. I was going so, the other way. Here's the thing. Like my dad has been so right about like everything, like everything, dude, like phones yeah. listening He's to like you. He's like the Alex Jones without a my microphone. My dad is like literally like spiritual Alex Jones. And yeah. it's, it's weird. Like he'll like, he'll like know things and he'll say that he knows things without other people knowing. Like he'll say shit on the sly that only I'll get now that me and him are on the same plane that I'm crazy like him. And like, my mom will say something, right? Let's say my mom says something. My dad will say something that only I get to let me know that I that he knows. So your dad might be one of those like low IQ geniuses. I don't think my dad is low IQ. I think my dad I don't think my dad would do well on an IQ test. That's kind of yeah. what I'm getting. Like yeah. he's not cuz but that isn't yeah. an IQ test is like a really poor indicator of like what someone's IQ is. That's it's why just I was like asking what's gauge. on the test cuz yeah. I've never Yeah, it, it, it. it's one of those things where it's like 
I don't know, like Kanye West probably wouldn't be very good at a fucking math thing. Yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? Or like Einstein wouldn't be good at like painting. Yeah, I only know like there's the, the SATs. Like which is which is just those are just like a, a gauge of like your overall. That's harder. That it seems like that would be harder than the S, than the fucking IQ. Test. It is well because an SAT is is like rudimentary knowledge that you've acquired from your education. A IQ test, some of it is just like, how does your brain work logically? I think I got an eleven something on my. Uh, uh, is that when it was out of sixteen hundred or twenty four hundred? Yours is probably sixteen hundred. Sixteen, yeah. Yeah, because I was like, I was in like the, I didn't do very good. I was like 1230. I got like a 1234, I think. And that was like low. I got an 11 something. I can't remember the last two digits. digits. I think one of them was a four. So 11 yeah. something four. 11 four something. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, don't, I remember my girlfriend in high school got like a 900. And it was like, oh, you're like an She idiot. got her name right. Yeah. <laughs> they like give she, you like no, 700 she, for your name. Yeah. She got like, she got like nine. She got like below 10,000. I remember that. And it was like a big deal. She's like crying. <laughs> wow. And she still went to college and everything. No. <laughs> she did and she that makes me feel out. better yeah i don't know dude like i don't know it, it's just like i guess we're kind of categorically talking about people who fit into a societal uh cookie cutter box that like me and you have sort of opted out of well that's probably what they're trying to do when they're setting up america's make most of our population be a cookie cutter person that we can convince of anything. So like our narrative will be, well, that's, I think that's been more so since like the JFK assassination, but like, I mean, like I bet you, if you ask Tyler about like, and I'm just using Tyler as an example, yeah. like a catch all, like about Sorry, Tyler, <laughs> about like the, uh, the JFK assassination. If he would like what his, like if he would be like, I don't know. It seems like people who, love politics are very narrative driven they yeah they, they go listen along with the party line to like sure. whatever has been told to them which is always yeah they presupposed the by just jargon and bullshit and dogma and it's like i mean i don't know it, it like it's kind of like uh i've been like thinking lately how people who are into history are like kind of probably dumb dude if you got yeah, uh, yeah. Like, actually, it's going on like, like our last episode. Like, hi history is written by the victors. Obviously. Yeah, so it's like not real. So you're getting one side of history every time you research history, right? So you're getting one person person. So truth. you're basic. You're basically just like this propagandist. Yeah, you're just believing what the victor said about yeah. everything that was happening. Right. Which, if you take that with like Gaza and fucking Israel right now, it's like, yeah, Israel's the good guy. Yeah. Well, like, yeah, but, with the see, but there, but it's weird though, because there are instances in history where like, like for example, the Egyptians were like objective, uh, historians where they would like, they, that's like how they know a lot of the stuff that happened in Exodus, which is like the book of the Bible where the Jews leave it, uh, Egypt. That's how they know a lot of that actually really happened. It was because Egypt had this like culture where they would objectively write out the history. So like there's a ton of Egyptian history where it's like Egyptians, this this bad thing happened in Egypt and the Egyptians did not do well during this time. Whereas like if you look at like, you know, a lot of other uh historic cases, like they don't do that. Like like the United States, if you look at a textbook, they've never lost a war, which is like not true. Yeah, and even the one we lost, we tied, which was Yeah, Vietnam. which is not true. <laughs> it's like do you no, know what I'm saying? Fun. So like I don't know. So that's what like, and, and I kind of, it's funny. I was watching Shane Gillis special and I was like coming to this realization while watching it. And I was like, Oh, Shane Gillis is kind of like a propagandist. Like this is why he would be perfect. If the, yeah, if, in, if, intel if intelligence came to him and said, write this joke about the United States military and make it look good because we're losing numbers and we're, we need to start bolstering our military for 2024. Cause some shit's about to pop off. That would be the perfect vehicle to do it because not only is it the number one Netflix special, all the bros who are probably going to get picked up in a draft would be Shane Gillis fans. And the elites and, are knowing that comedy can penetrate people's yes, souls which better is, than which anything. Is, which is the entire point of the trickster character is that he is able to tell the truth through jokes, which makes it more powerful and it seeps into the subconscious of people. This is like what I'm all about. Dude, and so Shane Gillis is a little it, fucking trickster. Yeah, dude. He's yeah, the no, Joker. He's a propagandist. Son of a bitch. I yeah, like I have, you. Have whatever you want of ours, Shane, you fucking faggot. What about Matt? Because I love Matt. That's exactly what they want you to do. Damn it. Like, you're falling into it perfectly. I'm falling you're into it. You're falling into it so perfectly. I'm like probably the age. I mean, even, dude, even think about, think about any classic 
military operation. Two guys that, that are seemingly different. One of them is a West Point dropout. One's a who, shaman. Who is a stereotypical bully. Yeah. And then the other one is this like weird... Esoteric. Ex, ex-wigger, esoteric guy. They're literally just grabbing all of, all of, <laughs> all of the white men. Like, hey. And then constantly dog whistling to people like me who know what six million means. And it's like, oh, I see what you're fucking doing. This has been an op the entire time. Now Damn. it's now all of a sudden it's just the biggest podcast in the world. And he's with Rogan. That's the thing, dude. My favorite podcast. Stop. Op, you can't don't fall into it. I'm falling. This you like this is your moment of truth. I'm Ren. falling and I can't get back up. Yeah, fun. I need a life it's alert. It's all bro. fucking fake, buddy. I need a life alert. It's all fake. I need a life alert for you to start F-A-G. reading when I'm starting to believe the fucking. I know, dude. Like this is what I, this is what I said. Once I once I started noticing, once I started noticing some things about the boys, and I figured out who it was particularly. Now we're all we all know. Now everybody knows. They're running out of things to listen to now. Everybody knows what's what's going on, and I know what's going on. It's gonna be like the. They're gonna have to kill me. It's gonna be like a <laughs> weird joke that I just circle back around to just only listening to Joe Rogan. <laughs> Yeah, it's gonna be this weird joke where <laughs> where you you have you have gone full circle. The, you've Ouroboros. You've gone full circle oh, back into being like, dude, this is too much for me. I'm only listening to Rogan now, <laughs> and 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 even then, dude, every like four episodes, your your fucking subconscious is gonna pop out. Starts your feeling id, Rogan. and it's gonna it's gonna seep into your ego, and it's gonna go. It's gonna go like this. You know you're just lying to yourself, right? You're lying. You're lying to yourself, Rain. That's what's gonna happen. Because every once in a while, when I put on his podcast, it freaks me out. And you now, those AI fuckers. And now, dude, you just have to. Now this is when this is when it, this is when this is the truth, and this is what this is one of the, some of the best advice I ever got when I was in college from Peter Warnack. He said, "The truth does one of three things: it sets you free." It makes you stronger traps you. or it destroys you. And so think about this. Everything come town had to let it go. Had to let it go, dude. Matt and Shane had to let it go. It's all fake rain. Wait, you're, you let go of come town. Yes, dude. Now I, this is what come town is for me now. This is new. Cause last time you were no, here a month I've, ago, you were sleeping I, to them. I read, I still will do that. <laughs> but I, I've read, I found a thread where they discuss Nick Mullen's dad and that he's in the DOD and whether or not that's true, doesn't matter because the substance is still the same. The story of come town being this small little podcast that rose out of the dust and became funny. Cause a bunch of guys said the N word is not true. Dude, we're next. Is not true. <laughs> they had, they had huge audiences before on Twitter and Facebook and it's all fake. And that's why Shane Gillis has had help from intelligence. It's all been a psyop. It's all a psyop, dude. Dude, let's. Can we get a little boost of that help or We're is that We're about to get one. So just wait. I'm telling you. How do you think I always know everything? I don't know. It's fucking freaking me out. But I just. I'm fucking lined up, dude. The stars have aligned. And Venus is here. <laughs> So does that mean the Earth's not flat? Doesn't matter what it what it is, Rain. So All that is, matters is you know that it could be either one. That's what matters. You or Neo. What does astronomy the do with the flat Earth? Why do the stars only move in the same places all the time? No, but what do they do with it? Like, what does astronomy? What do you mean? The stars because are you can portals. have like your your like sun and Gemini and your moon and whatever. Like, yeah, it's based off the moon. Like, what's yeah. The moon and the sun go in a circle around each other. You ever, dude, you have so you you've only I know so little. You only scratched the surface, my my young paddle. Flat Earth, I can't go. Here's too the deep point. This is pre- this is my point, dude. You can know ice cream is bad for you and still have a scoop every once in a while. Fuck you know it. what I mean? Yeah, and every that's the once point. In a while, a it's Big okay. Mac is good. It's okay to like Matt and Shane, but just know. Every I'm, once in a while, when it when it they're when you, seed oils. Just know that. <laughs> just know. The shaman is fake. Ah, that bumps Shane me up. is in the cabal. It is over. Dude, he's hanging out with the NFL players. That's pretty it's gnarly. It's over, dude. It's over. It's over. Like, over? What do I do now? You accept that it's over and you embrace it. What do I listen it. to now, I guess? 
the Bible. <laughs> <laughs> download the Bible app. I'm telling you, download the Bible app. Be the best thing you ever did. You're Is it like a Bible cast I can listen to or something? Yeah, he's literally just the audio book. That's what I listen to. And it'll be like, and then David <laughs> destroyed. Dude, that, that's not going to work out good. Because the second I get my attention it? on something, I start ignoring. No, you can't. Like, I listen to, I love, I, <laughs> fuck me. I like history. <laughs> Kind of like Shane Gillis likes history, which is which you can't. And I'll listen to Dan Carlin. You can't like history; it's fake. I, don't know. I mean, you I don't can know. like it, but I just know. know it's fake. Look, this is what you're gonna. This is what it's gonna be. Oh, my life. First Samuel twenty four. After Saul returned from pursuing the Philistines, <laughs> he was told, "David is in the desert of En Gedi." So Saul took three thousand. This is your future. You get an AI to have more inflection than that. To look for David this is a man. Near the crags Are you ready? Do you want to go to heaven, Rain? Do you want to go to heaven, Rain? Do you want this or do you want lies? I think I want lies. Do you want lies, Rain? I think so. What was the first sin in the Bible? It was the deceit. Oh, really? Yeah, it was deceit. It was a lie. Was I would have assumed sin. it was someone putting their wiener in someone's butt. That's pretty close. Wiener in a butt. Oh, wait. This is still... <laughs> it's still... <laughs> <laughs> Oh, did that remind I me? Bet I, you, <laughs> I bet you you'll be Bible-pilled by 2025. I'm already a little Bible-pilled, but the, yeah. my whole thing is I don't know Bible to read. Uh, just use uh, NIV, dude. We're retarded. Dude, I we're stumbled across the Codex Syntax or whatever. That's like the oldest version. No, don't do that. You're so stupid. No. Get something that you can fucking digest. I can't even read it. <laughs> like, the Codex, it's like, you ref the fly. It makes no sense. That's funny. I just plug it in the chat GBT. I'm like, translate this shit. <laughs> and they this just is you're gay. <laughs> like, Actually, you're gay. Actually, you're gay. Just go read the King James Bible. God, dude, I bet you our retarded. listeners fucking hate us dude. <laughs> how religious do you think our, our listeners are uh they're pretty like i think a lot of them are pretty christ-pilled because like i'm not religious but i'm not atheist i'm not that's religious i'm not religious either i'm well, not religious thing. we're not trying I'm to like christian fucking religious people pill into like being yeah i don't there's there was someone there's someone on uh on the fucking uh hyper sigil discord and he like he dm me on twitter and was like hey dude i i kind of like left the discord because you guys are all like christian and i was like i don't know this has like nothing to do with christianity it's we're just we're just bros dude i don't know we're just we're a bunch just of bros exercising like, our brains dude yeah we're just talking i don't know do you i don't know i don't want to be a fucking satan fag like i don't know but at the same time it'd be really weird if you just got really atheist about like a topic for an example and it's like that that's how we're talking about this one i was super atheist and if you don't, I don't, like I don't, I don't know. Cause I think like, if you really listen to the show, you listen to the progression of like how, well, no, I was saying is like, if we're atheistic about like certain topics and then you have like your Christian fan base, you know, complaining to you about the same thing. The atheist, yeah, no like, one, it, no one has <laughs> ever complained about us being too Christian. I think cause we, we, we talk about everything from such a, like, we, we're just talking. We're we not, didn't discuss religion before not, we pressed record. I am just as confused as our listeners are right now, like discussing what we're discussing. No, yeah, well, because we, because where we came from, we came from the fact that it's all fake. Because this, this came from us talking about characterization and politics and history being fake, and then history being fake and history buffs, which led to Shane Gillis, which led to Matt McCusker, which led to just the destruction of all of the media. Like media is subconsciously okay. ruining people. What about clones? Real or fake? Real. I'm on the real side too. I'm on the real side. It's, I don't think that there's really anything we're, we, we're not on the same page about anymore. There, there is no way. There's like probably tiny little differences we'll disagree about yeah. and we'll, we'll yell at each other about probably in a few episodes. But yeah. dude, the fact that like no one knows anything. And they're just no basing it off anything. of their favorite thing pretty much. They're like, well, my favorite book is this. So kind of, yeah. That's actually kind of what it is, yes. My favorite person says this, so... Yeah, but like, <laughs> but also, my thing with like Christianity is like, there are, like the Catholic Church has relics and shit that are like, proven scientifically to be true. Shroud of Turin, like all of that stuff is like scientific. Like, so if you want to get sciency with Christianity, it, it does, like, yeah, okay. I thought the Shroud of Turn was only, like, 500 years old when they, like... No, that was... No, they, they pulled some... They redid it. They pulled some other weird thing. Shroud of Turin's legit. Because that's what, like, it's when all, you look it up, that's what it says. No, it? that's not real. That's huh. not real. That's 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 <laughs> a psyop. That is fake also. Like, that is fake. So, like... Like, here, think about this, right? So, 
this is an interesting quote that I I, I read. So can you, can you explain what the all, shot of Torn is for the shot of Torn is like the is like the basically what they ri- wrapped Christ's body in when he died. And there's a perfect image of his entire body from the from the radiation of light that went off when he died. So the light it acted like a photograph and it categorized it onto the to the shroud. Anyways, but listen to this. So this is like one thing where it's like cuz obviously to be a believer in anything, you have to have some level of faith. Like you can't you can't just you there's, can't go off science. There's no science nerd. there's no like risk in uh in believing in something, if you know, it's all true. So like part of being religious and having faith in Christ is not fully knowing. That's the whole point of having faith, but of it being a belief. Yeah. But the whole, the, but here's like, this is stuff that like substantiates that. Like one of them is like all 12 of the apostles, all of them were murdered. Um, and they were all crucified and like skinned alive. So all 12 of them and they were killed by Rome and all of them were said, you need to renounce that Christ rose from the dead and you need to renounce that none of what you're saying happened, happened. Okay. And none of them, all of them were like, no, that's what happened. Like hundred like, percent. Like, uh, that's what happened. You can skin me alive. And like they got flayed. So like the quote is by this like theologist. And he was like, I know that Christ rose on the third day because all 12 of his disciples were brutally crucified and skinned alive and killed. And during Watergate, those guys couldn't even keep a lie straight for two weeks. And he's like, those, the reason it has to be true is like they, they were alive for like 40 years saying the same thing happened. None of them ever wavered. They're all killed and skinned alive. And then their disciples, the same thing. And there's been martyrs for thousands of years. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. And he and he's like, it's just crazy. Like they couldn't have kept those lies up for that long and had the same story. I'm like, oh, that's interesting. Dude, 9 eleven is falling apart as we speak. Like, in like the mainstream, dude, it's crazy. In the mainstream, it's, it's so crazy. It's happening. It's so crazy. Like things are coming apart. That the, the veil, were, dude. The narrative, like Osama bin Laden, for example. All fake. That shit's coming apart. Like it's all fake. But as we speak, like in the mainstream. Uh, hey. Yeah. Fucking wild. Yeah, dude. dude I know. I know, and it's it's crazy when Sam Tripoli and Alex Jones were like the most truthful people. It is in it the is. last ten but, years. But dude. I mean, think about how the world actually operates. Like that's how it actually is. Like reality is way crazier than fiction. I mean, like yeah, dude, if science you, can't fucking explain your gut feeling, no like, matter what like, they say. Like if you read like the Bible and talks about giants and fucking chimeras and shit, and then like. You you like the Smithsonian's been hiding giant bones. Yeah, and then you and have- like the dinos the dinosaurs all the di- do you know that they've never found a fully intact dinosaur? Yeah, I didn't know that until like a year ago. They're all like three um, D imaged up and like, yes, yeah. dude, dinosaurs are fake. They forget, figure it out like the bones. And then they just go, oh, this is uh, five hundred million like, years old. What they say is like, oh, the bones aren't necessarily fake, but we have the bones in secret keeping. Like, yeah, all the bones where, you see yeah, are fake. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Why are yeah, you yeah, doing yeah. that then? Right, hundred percent, dude. 100%. And it's like, it's just so crazy. And like, even like, people who lie don't like the truth, right? Yeah. Like, I don't know, like, which is so crazy that like, you can't talk about like Jesus at all without people freaking out. It's it's really weird. Like, and uh, you know, it's interesting too, in the Bible, it says like, demons go crazy and they have to run when you say the name Jesus. They can't handle it because it, it's, it, it kills them. It like hurts them, right? So, have you ever seen someone where you're like, oh yeah, Jesus is real? And like, get out! And they start fucking freaking out, dude. Yeah. That's like a weird... I don't want to hear it. Yeah. It's, <sighs> and that it's so weird because it's like, oh wait, why is that triggering you so much? If it wasn't real, why would you get upset? Yeah, even when I wasn't like religious you know at what all, I, mean? I was probably more like atheist than anything was in like high school. And even then I'm like, yeah, like I'll, I'll listen to what you're saying. Like, Yeah, but no. it's just... Let see, but I, <laughs> I, I wouldn't though. I wouldn't like oh. when I, when I was like off the rails and shit, dude, my dad would talk about Jesus. I would be like, shut the fuck up. Stop. But then like, again, when you're that and, age, when you hear someone that you think is wrong and you think you're right, you like, no, but I was in my twenties, dude. I'm talking about like two years ago, even. <laughs> so <laughs> it's just an interesting it's, but it's again, it's just an observation. You know what I mean? But you know, it, like we're saying, there's so many layers to everything. I mean, there are some people who will absolutely, they, dude, 
the government could come out and say 9-11 was an inside job and they'll say yep. George Bush said it wasn't. Yeah, they'll be like, dude, Bush was actually a pretty good president and he's, yeah. he said it wasn't and we're clapping for him at the Cowboys game. Yeah. He fucking rules, dude. Yeah. He's an old guy. He's he, an old guy. He could have done anything. And, and, but, but that's <laughs> like what Matt and Shane is to you. Is it's like, no, it's just Matt and Shane. Is it? You got to think, dude. You got to think. It's like... You know, if it, if it, uh, I'm just gonna go back to Joe Rogan. If, man. I don't if know it walks do. like a duck and it quacks like a duck, it's probably a duck. You Fuck. know? Fuck. What do we, yeah. So, well, I'm gonna start listening to the JRE experience and let you know what he's going on about. Yeah, now. cool. Well, you know, I, it, it's like sometimes I'll just listen to us and I'm like, I'm just like, sometimes if I don't wanna think my own thoughts, but I wanna think my thoughts that I had before, I'll put this, I'll put our show on. How weird is that? How weird is it that I laugh harder at our podcast than anybody else's? Yeah, I forget the that things we. Mean. I think I forget the things we talk about, and then I just fucking play, it and I'm as rocks. I constantly forget the things we talk about. I, I don't know. know. I have no idea what we even talked about this show. Oh, don't worry, I'll repeat it next episode, dude. Yeah, that's why. <laughs> that's when I do remember when I'm like, we already like, talked oh, yeah, about it. We already talked about that. <laughs> All right, we're going over the Patreon. Where's yeah, the freaking baby, let's go gabagoo? The gabagoo is on the Patreon. It's deep. You. Weird. It's Anytime weird. you bring up something that's super wrong, weird. I never do that shit to you. I mean, like, oh, dude, I've been doing this for this long. I don't fucking. Uh. We literally, never literally, three episodes ago, we had a massive fight, and that's all you did was was uh fucking grandstand about how you played bass for thirteen years. Because I get true. zero credit for anything I've done. Because.